break from my 31 Nights of Halloween because there's a new movie coming out this weekend, Blade Runner 2049, and I've never seen the original Blade Runner. Until now. <laughs> Blade Runner was directed by Ridley Scott, and it stars Harrison Ford, Han Solo, and, and Indiana Jones himself, and it's a movie that is hailed as a classic sci-fi movie. It's, it's People say that it's a masterpiece. Some people say that it's just okay. Where do I lie? Does it hold up? Let's find out. So here's the deal with this movie. I had never seen it until today because I wanted to see it before watching the new movie, and I never really had an interest to see this movie. I heard things about it, I heard that it was great, and I guess I never had a pool to see it. But because the new one was coming out, I, I was intrigued enough, I wanted to go into this movie and really give it a shot. I didn't want to, like, say, have all these high expectations with, you know, thinking it was a classic or whatever. I wanted to just see how it was as a movie, just how it was. And does it hold up? I say yes, the movie definitely holds up as a movie. It's it's a very well done movie. It's a beautiful movie to look at. The, the, the shots and the scenery and everything that Ridley Scott put in into making this movie, he did a fantastic job. And of course, Harrison Ford. As soon as you see him, you're like, oh man, I love this guy. He's just so great. It's, it's, it's no wonder that he's one of the best stars we've ever had in Hollywood. He, he's just so fun to watch. You gravitate, gravitate towards him when, when he, whenever he's on the screen, and he's the best part about this movie by far. And uh, besides that, though, besides all those things, the story let me down a little bit. It, it, it was intriguing. I was very intrigued with the story, and I, I wanted to know what was going to happen. I was interested the whole way through. The movie is not boring, per se, but it's long, and it's drawn out, and the thing is, the story... It's kind of confusing in a lot of ways because you don't really know what the point is. It, it seems pointless a lot of times in the movie because there's not like scenes saying, okay, this is what we got to do. Okay, this, boom, boom, boom. And that's cool because it, it doesn't just feed you information. It's, you know, it makes you wonder what's happening. What, it makes you think about things. And that's cool to see in a movie like this because a lot of movies are straightforward. And a movie like this that's hailed as a masterpiece no wonder that it's, you know, you have to think about it a little bit. But for me, I just wish that, that I could have seen a little bit more of the detective part of the story. Really, just the story of him going after these replicants. I wish I could have had a little bit more of that, you know? It felt like any time that he came across a replicant, yeah, you saw him doing some research or whatever and zooming in on the computer a bunch of times, but it felt like... It was just random whenever you run into a replicant. And even towards the end when he, like, finally, you know, confronts the two or whatever, it just feels random. It doesn't feel like, yeah, he earned it. He definitely did the detective work. It just felt weird that he was able to come across all these things. And obviously he was able to do it. And you saw him doing some detective work, but it, it didn't really have go together the way that I wanted it to. It just wasn't all that interesting as a story. I feel like... There was a lot of parts of this movie that really were interesting and makes it a, a, a movie that is worthwhile, but just the overall story of him chasing after these people, it could have been a lot better done, I think. But overall, this is a movie that I think definitely still holds up. I don't think it's some masterpiece like everybody thinks it is. Maybe I'll have to give it another shot, but what I will say is I am definitely excited to now see Blade Runner 2049 and see where the story goes from here. So... <laughs> That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think about this classic film. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I don't know. I, I I don't really know anybody personally that loves this movie so much. But, I, you know, I, I read a lot of movie things and a lot of people love this movie. So I kind of fall in the middle. I, I don't think it's a masterpiece, but I definitely think it holds up. So those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more reviews from a guy like me, Tom Waterloo, then please like and share this video, leave a comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.